Hello, and this is a quick explanation on the test for block command and test for command. This can be very helpful in adventure maps and other map creations. So, we're going to get started, hit single player, and go into our new world. So, play a selected world. So we're going to start off in our world's mod because we want these commands to be constantly testing. Uh, by pressing F3 and G, you can uh, check the chunk borders. And first we'll start off with the test for block command. So let's say that when... Uh, someone places primary colors on these three colors right here that they will uh, get a diamond. They place it in the order of red, yellow, and blue, or blue, yellow, and red, any way that they want, but they just have to be on there. So if they do that, they'll get a diamond. So it'll be perfect like that, but we have to put in commands and see how it'll work. So we're gonna get the coordinates uh, later, but first we're gonna put down the setup. So we're gonna have a uh, always active one or repeating in the back followed by two chain commands and just one normal command block so we're gonna get the coordinates here and as you can see they're 10 1 uh, 10 and their the x is going up by one so we're gonna do slash test for block 10 1 10 and we're gonna do wool and I believe it is 11 for blue and we're gonna change that to always active because we want it to be always testing so next we're going to do um, the same command, but a shortcut is do control A and then control C. That will highlight it with control A and then control, control C will copy it and then control V it and put it in here. So we're going to change it to 11 in the X and put it to a four for yellow in the... Uh, so here we're going to do 12 and change it to 14 for red. Okay, and we're going to make them both conditional by the way, both the uh, chain ones. And then next, if all three are correct, are all true, we're going to give the nearest player, so at P, a diamond. And the reason that we have it off to the side is because it would be constantly giving you diamonds and I don't want you to be bombarded. So, so you put all three on there, you'll get one diamond, as you can see. Uh, it was placed in my inventory. So it doesn't matter. I'll show you. I found the block successfully and it gave me another diamond. So it's perfect. All right. So next, we're going to go on to the test for command. Test for command can be used to test for entities. Uh, you can test for entities at a certain block or in a radius. So we're going to test for a person is on a three block radius of this um, mossy cobblestone right here. And then from that, we're going to summon a zombie on that block. So we're going to add on to our chain command, and we're going to do slash test for oh, spelling at P. And we're going to put brackets in there. And then we have to find out what the coordinates are. It's 11, 1, 4. 11, comma 1, comma 4, and comma 3, and close the brackets. Now, if you want it to be a single block instead of a radius, you can just change the 3 to, uh, to 1. But I'm going to leave it as a 3 because I want it to be a radius. So then we're going to have a redstone comparator come out here. We're going to put another command block down, and we're going to do slash summon zombie, spelling zombie, zombie uh, 11, 1, and 4. All right, then we'll hit done. So we can test it right now. It's pretty simple. And uh, if you go into game mode, we'll game, game mode adventure, and it'll summon. So it only summons once once you reach in. So I have to get out and then go back in. And there. So we'll constantly summon it. All right, so that's about it. So I hope this video was uh, helpful, and I'm planning on doing more videos about command blocks. So if you want to be notified, I'd hit that red button. Anyways, thanks for watching.